Hey there, it's Polly Peters. In this video, I want to talk about the paleo recipe and give you one simple recipe to help you with the paleo diet. But before that, I want to share with you my story about who I am so we can get to know each other better. I'm currently diabetes free and at a weight I'm happy with. I've lowered my A1C level to the point I am no longer diabetic and I was able to stop medication. But it wasn't always like that in the past. In fact, I used to really struggle with my diabetes and weight. In four years, I lost a total of seven and a half pounds. Doing vegan, Weight Watchers, gluten-free, you name it, I most likely did it. My diabetes was so bad, my doctor kept telling me that I'd get vision loss, nerve damage, and kidney disease if I didn't change. But then I discovered the paleo diet. I wish I learned about it before I got sick and gained a lot of weight. It wasn't until a colleague at work told me that his neighbor had success with it that I started. I decided to give it a shot as I had nothing to lose. I finally discovered how to control my diabetes, lose the excess weight, and keep it off. After I used the simple recipes in the paleo diet, I was able to go from a depressed, overweight diabetic to a normal, diabetes-free, enjoyable life. I am now able to go to the gym three to four days a week with incredible stamina. Not only that, it feels amazing no longer having to take medication. The following recipe is the exact one I've been using in my diet for the last two years. My wish is that it helps you achieve your goal like it did for me. Now on to the recipe. Beef Burgundy Ingredients 1 quarter pound of bacon 4 tablespoons of butter 2 and a half to 3 pounds of beef cut into 2 inch cubes 1 and a half teaspoons of salt one quarter teaspoon of pepper, two tablespoons of almond flour, two sliced carrots, one sliced onion, one tablespoon of tomato paste, two cloves of garlic finely chopped, one tablespoon of fresh thyme or one teaspoon dried, one tablespoon of finely chopped fresh parsley, one bay leaf, three cups of full bodied red wine, two and a half cups of beef stock, one pound white or brown mushrooms. Instructions. Preheat the oven to 425 degrees. Cut the bacon into short strips. In a deep saucepan, saute the bacon in one tablespoon of butter until bacon is cooked but not crispy. Pat the beef dry with a paper towel and add it to the bacon in three to four batches. Brown each batch of meat, then remove from the pan. Set bacon and meat aside in the casserole baking dish you're going to use in the oven. Sprinkle salt, pepper, and almond flour evenly over the meat. Bake the meat in the oven without a cover for 10 minutes so that the flour absorbed into the meat and creates a slight crust on the outside. Remove from the oven and turn the heat down to 325. In the saucepan, on the stove, add one tablespoon of butter to the remaining fat from the bacon and meat and saute the carrots and onion until soft, usually about eight minutes. Add the tomato paste, garlic, thyme, parsley, and bay leaf. Stir in the wine and beef broth and bring to a gentle boil. Let it simmer for three to five minutes, then pour over the meat in the casserole pan. Now cover the dish and cook in the oven for about two and a half hours. While the meat is cooking, slice the mushrooms and saute in the remaining tablespoons of butter. Saute them in three to four batches, adding butter as needed. Set the mushrooms aside. When the meat is done, remove the casserole pan from the oven. Put a bowl under a colander and pour the meat and liquid into the colander so the liquid drains out. Bring the liquid to a gentle boil and simmer for 8 to 10 minutes. Pour over meat and mushrooms. Garnish with parsley and serve. And that's the recipe of the day. If you enjoyed this video, then like the video and subscribe to my channel. If you'd like to learn more about the paleo diet so you can experience improved sugar control and weight loss, then click the link below the video, take action, and go check it out. Again, click the link below, take action, and go check out the page there.